All right, so we just got the uh, Cross Tour action camera. It's a 4K action camera, kind of like a GoPro knockoff. So here's the box. It's kind of like a um, cardboardish type of feel, a little bit. And then around here, nothing. Front shows a picture. Over there, it says crosstour.co. Cross Tour on this side. And then it says action camera CT8500. And in the description below, I'll put a link to where you can check this out on Amazon. So we'll go ahead and open this up and show you what's inside. So we'll just pull the tape tab off right there, pull this part out, and then pull this guy. We're gonna flip it over the other way. Okay. So right inside the box, you'll see instructions and instruction manual, and it's a good size manual. And then here's the actual camera itself, and it comes with a little GoPro style clip Oops, hold on. Got here. So right here is the GoPro style clip inside the waterproof housing. And then when we open that up, inside is the camera, pop it out. And uh, yeah, so it's kind of a nice small fits in your hand. Definitely plastic feel. We'll check to later uh, whether 4K is in the video or just pictures. And there's the OK button up there. And then buttons on the side as well and volume up and down. Over here you have your SD card slot and you have what looks to be a USB micro uh, there and then that looks like a, it might be an aux in right there at the bottom. And so and then you got your screen on the back. So I'm gonna press the button and see if the battery is already in and ready to go, it doesn't look like it. So here's our little battery door over here, we're gonna open that up. All right, and over here it says accessories right there, which is nice, a whole section right there of different accessories. So we'll pull this little box out, and then we'll put that right here, open it up and see what's inside. All right, so we'll just kind of pour everything out. And it gives you a lot, a lot of accessories. So you have a little um, button here to activate it, kind of like GoPro had one of these. It also can put a strap, so you can put this on your arm and you can use, use it for shutter and for video activation. So that's a nice touch for sure. Here's the strap that would go around that. We got a battery right here. And then we have a bunch of various types of GoPro type mounts. We have another um, holder there. A couple more types of mounts. A bicycle mount. It comes with our USB micro cord so we can charge the battery. Um, here's one with a little piece of metal on there that I guess to attach something. Uh, here's a bunch of other ones here, straps. Oh, look at that. It even comes with a lavalier microphone. That's pretty handy. And then here's another little uh, clip to which you can put the camera in there. So quite a few little attachments here, which is nice. And then these guys here too. So a lot of different GoPro style attachments which is cool. All right, so we're gonna pop the battery in here. Comes with one, two batteries, so that's good. Better to have one, so you have, have one to charge and then the other one you could be running at the time. And it says for 4K on there. And we're gonna go ahead and pop the battery in. And then we'll put the little cover on there. That flips down. Yep. And then we'll clip that in. All right, now we're gonna fire this thing up and show you how it works. So the power button is gonna be right here at the bottom. You can see it has a little power. So, oh. Whoops. So it looks like it turned on. The battery door was a little bit of a pain, but once we have that, it's fine. And go ahead and As I can say, the battery door is not very good. All right, so here's the various different settings you have here. You press the front button on this to get to change these things. Photo resolution, 20 megapixel um, video. It says volume there. As I'm pressing through these things, it's then moving over here. And so video resolution, it's at 4K 30. I can press up and down to adjust and then photo resolution. So it's giving me all these different options here. And then I can press the button on the top to select what I want. So 
let's quickly kind of go through some of these modes. So what I want to do first is go to my video resolution. So I press the front button to get to there. I press the top button to adjust. We got 4K 30, 2.7 30, 1080 uh, 60. Oops, sorry. 1080 60, we have 1080 30 and 720 120. So those are the various resolutions that you have available to you. Um, camera, obviously I said 20 megapixel on there as well. Uh, electronic image stabilization, looping for video, uh, time lapse for photos, has burst photo, um, volume for the beeping on, exposure, you can adjust your exposure as well. And then language, we have English here, car mode, I'm not really sure about that, it's interesting. Power off, automatically powers off in five minutes, you can adjust that as well. And then we can exit. So there's our various modes here. And then when I go here, I'm gonna exit here. Does that mean, does that mean it won't? So here I am right here, you can see in the frame, in the viewfinder, that it actually works fine. There's the instructions right there, action camera. So we're gonna put a card into it later and check it out and I'll tell you what kind of resolution that we get out of this. Again, like I said, the, the bottom door seems to be a little bit of an issue wanting to stay on. Other than that, it seems kind of cool and I think the price was right for what you get. I really like that you have this little shutter button as well and right out of the box, it's ready to go. So that's our opening, and like I said, go ahead and check it out in the comments below uh, in the description section where I have a link to this. And uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.